اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم مائی ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس السلام علیکم اٹ از مائی ایبسلوٹ پلیجر این آنر ٹو ویلکم یو آل این ٹوڈے لیکچر ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس اینڈ ٹوڈے لیکچر وی ویل ٹاک اباؤٹ فیملی ان اٹس ٹائپس دا ورلڈ فیملی ہیز بین ڈیرائیو فرام دا ورلڈ فیملس وچ مینس سروینٹس سروینٹس مینس دا پیپل ہو آر ورکنگ اینڈ دا پیپل دا ممبرز ہو آر انٹریکٹنگ ود ایچ ادر ان کوپریٹیو مینرس اینڈ دے آر سوشلائزنگ ایچ ادر فیملی فرام دا ٹائم ایم میموریل دا فیملی از دا موسٹ امپارٹنٹ پرائمری گروپ ان دا سوسائٹی اینڈ دا سوشالوجسٹ بلیو دیٹ Uh, the society is the composition of different social institutions the institution like uh, the political institution the economic institution the religion is religious uh, institution the um, educational institution basically we have that five uh, institution and the family is one of the most important institution in all these that is the most primitive and it is the first uh, institution the family is the first institution from which all other institution are evolved so we can say that family as the basic unit of <coughs> family as the basic unit of society and family is the first place where which ha- which exert a strong influence on children it is the first place uh, uh, it is the first place where the child develops its Uh, basic attitudes and there is primary socialization primary socialization it uh, have um, everlasting effects on the minds of people it is the most basic of social grouping the first and the most immediate social environment to which a child is exposed the groups that affect the lives of individual and society non touches them so intimately or so continuously as does the family from the moment of birth to the moment of death the family exert a constant influence the family is the first group in which we find ourselves it provides for the most enduring relationship in one form or other every one of us grow up and a family and every one of us too well be member of one family or Uh, other so define uh, the family institution a very wide uh, concept the family and it has uh, many types and it varies from one society to another society the, the structure and fam- uh, function some of the functions of family are universal uh, such as rearing and caring and socialization while some of its function are varies from one societies to society Uh, definition uh, a social group of two or more people fe- uh, related by blood marriage or adoption the family might take many forms ranging from a single parent with one or more children to a married couple or polygamous spouses with offspring to several generation of parents and their children uh, as i told you already that uh, there are various types of families according to the social setups so it would be very difficult to uh, Um, merge all such um, differences just in one definition so however attempts uh, attempt uh, uh, has been done to cover all such types in one definition so uh, anywhere we, where you see a family it will be bounded it will be unified by by three factors either it will be a blood relation uh, or marriage just marriage husband wife or adoption or adoption of other people into uh, a family the family might take many forms ranging from a single parent either uh, father or mother with one or more children to a married couple to a married couple uh, or fully gamma spouses fully gamma spouses these may be either uh, these may be either pool endless where uh, there is many husbands or men in relations or either act may be polygynous where a husband uh, keep more than uh, wife one wife 
to several generation of parents and their children and that setup continue for many generations are changing and response to a number of factors to a number of factors including the desire of women to have more career opportunities uh, um, and to provide better lives for their children it is probably true that the family is changing faster than uh, any other social institution why it is changing it is changing because uh, in earlier times in primitive time family was the mother institution of all other institution um, that we have in a society so all such functions were performed by family while uh, in uh, in current times and recently if you see the function of families family are replaced by other institution like the socialization factor the socialization function has been replaced by education while the economic function which were once uh, uh, done cooperatively in family have, have been replaced by other economic institution in the society in the same way other functions so the functions the functions of family are declines are declined that's why family system is shifting and it is changing faster faster than any other institution form forms of family uh, there are different uh, kinds or types of family the first one is joint family which is also called undivided family. group of people a group of people who generally lie under one roof, who eat food cooked in one heart, or who have property in common, and who participate in common family worship, and are related to each other as some common particular type of kindred. These are all the, the family member who are living together, and they are sharing uh, all the family matters and all the resources with each other, and they are eating from the same heart, and they are eating together, and all the activities they are doing they are doing it collectively collectively so it is called joint family system and it is uh, it is normally consists of members who at least belong to three generations husband wife and their married or unmarried children and they are married as well as unmarried grandchildren the joint family system constitute the basic social institution in many traditional societies particularly in India, in Africa, in somewhere in Pakistan, in Pakistan, the joint family system was was in its best form in 1990s. And the second kind of family is nuclear family. It consists of husband, wife, and uh, ch their children. It is the feature of industrial society, and uh, this type of family system is mostly uh, is most common in industrial societies today soon uh, after their marriage the children leave their parental home and establish their separate household hence the nuclear family is autonomous unit free from control of the elders since there there is physical distance between parents and their married children there is many men and dependence between them this a nuclear family is mostly independent and uh, uh, the American family is a typical example of modern independent nuclear uh, families. There is a we sweep to the start of the to the initial phases of societies. So there was also this kind of system. There are certain uh, similarities between the nuclear families today and um, in the earlier phases. Like uh, the nuclear family in industrial society and families living under a special harsh environmental condition and both cases the family as independent unit that must be prepared to fend for uh, itself and this create for individual members a strong dependence on one another many minimum help uh, is available from outside in the event of emergencies or catastrophes when their usefulness ends the elderly are care for only if it is possible and the event of the mother or father's death life becomes precarious for the child yes this form of family is well adapted to a life that require a high degree of geographical mobility for the end unit this mobility permits the hunt for food 
for other North Americans. The hunt for jobs and improved social status required a mobile form of family unit. Another uh, type of family system is extended family. Sometimes uh, some of the sociologists in some books this term is uh, used for giant family system which is not correct. According to anthropologists we can say when two or more closely related nuclear families cluster together into a large domestic group they form a unit which is known as extended. This uh, larger unit typically consists of sibling with their spouses and offspring and often their parents and uh, for example in North America nuclear family have not always had the degree of independence that they came to have with the rise of industrialism. In earlier more agrarian era the small nuclear family was sometimes part of a large extended family. All of these people some related by blood and some by marriage lived and worked together because member of the younger generation brought their spouses husband or wives to live in the family extended family like consequential families had continuity through time as older member died of new members were born into the family second example is the maya of uh, in south mexico also continue to live in extended family household in many of their communities son brings their wives to live in houses built on the edges of small open plazas on one edge of which their father houses already strains numerous households activities are uh, carried out on in this uh, plaza here women my view men my receive guests and children um, fly together the head of the family is the son father who make most of the important decision all members of the family work together for the common good and deal with outsider as a single unit. Here in our country, we can also see this type of uh, a familial setup where the people they are building a long boundary wall and inside they are living as separate units inside that uh, boundary wall. Uh, although they are doing different activities, all of them are independent and they are living independently separate from their parents but they are living close to each other and that um, uh, bond reward so that is uh, extended uh, family system and uh, literally meaning consequent family literally meaning of the same blood which consists of related women their brother and the woman's and the woman offspring this is uh, a very old concept uh, and it is practiced in some parts of the world so among these is the Muzu of the southern southwestern China and the Tauri Islander a Roman Catholic the Tauri Islander who do not marry until they are in their late 20s or early early 30s look at uh, this way oh well you get married at the at that age it is too late to break up an arrangement that you have already known for a long time you know i i have my sister and brother to look after why should i leave home to go live with the husband after all he has got his sister and his brother looking after him because the community number numbers but a few hundred people husband and wives are within easy commuting distance of each other. According to cross-cultural survey of the family types in 192 culture around, uh, cultures around the world, the extended family is most common. Present in 48% of those cultures compared to their nuclear family at 25% and polygamous at 22%. Each of these is also note uh, as the blended family comprised of married couple with rising children together to form their previous union and recent years and there are many other forms the blended family is another concept in that where um, the the married couple raising children together from their previous unions from their previous marriages from their previous families they are they are nurturing and they are rearing such children along with themselves 
okay so far we discussed today uh, about family uh, it's different form the joint family the nuclear family extended family and the consequent family inshallah in upcoming lecture we will talk uh, on the marriage pattern that will be endogamy monogamy polygamy and the residential pattern if you have any question if you have any confusion query so kindly ask your questions in comments or in or in your whatsapp group thank you so much for today inshallah see you next time